It's been a long time since they played at home, giggling their way through another day of Miss Rata's siege. The army told us we have half an hour to pack and leave. They told us if we didn't leave, they'll close the gates of Misrata. On April 21st, Yusra and her extended family say they were forced out of their home on the orders of Gaddafi's army. They were told to get into their cars and follow a convoy. We found other families there. It was like finding our own parents. They abandoned us in the desert. We begged them to go back home. They said we couldn't stay because there were criminal gangs and rats in Misrata. The soldiers told them they could go anywhere they wished as long as they remained in government-controlled areas. The family spent 95 days trapped in a small town south of Misrata. I wanted to scream. We weren't free to speak. People over there support Gaddafi. They march with green flags every Friday. I wanted to be a bird so I could fly back home. But what the girls didn't know was that a secret plan was being hatched by opposition fighters to save them. It's the men stationed here who carried out the rescue operation. They're part of what is known as the Halbus Brigade, and they're in charge of the whole eastern front of Misrata. This is actually the road that leads to Sirte, and this whole area is closed to civilians. The fighters control the vast empty fields, and from their vantage point, they can monitor the movement of Gaddafi forces said to be hiding behind the line of trees. It took 20 days to put the mission together. Other brigades secured our back. We had an old man with us who knows the area well. We informed NATO they know our positions, but we have told them we are crossing to the other side to save some families. The fighters moved at 6 a.m., having tipped off the families that they were coming. We were informed at midnight. We were told it wasn't a sure thing. It could fail. We could die. We knew we were taking risks, but they were humiliating us. We could not stay there. At 9 a.m., a convoy of 22 families drove for 15 kilometers to a meeting point set by the fighters. The sound of joy echoed through the desert. You cannot imagine the feeling. It's not victory, but it's such a nice feeling to know that we save families who are being treated like lesser people. When the conflict started, the girls say their family remained neutral. Now they say they back the uprising. It all comes down to the way they were treated. Hadabdul Hamid, Al Jazeera, Misrata.